bill hoping to tackle Hawaii's mental health problems is scheduled to be heard next week. But enforcement and the rights of citizens could cause roadblocks to change. Sam Spangler has more in the story that's new at 10. State Representative Cynthia Thielen is looking to change language for involuntary hospitalizations to those deemed gravely disabled or obviously ill. She's also looking to increase the minimum from 48 hours of hospitalization to 72 hours. This will allow law enforcement to step in when someone is gravely ill, where they obviously need help and they aren't able to reach out and say, I need that. The language differs from just posing a danger to oneself or others, with police being the initial decision makers on who is gravely disabled or obviously ill. Opponents of the bill are skeptical of the power and abuse possible with involuntary hospitalization without a crime committed, something the ACLU has fought and won in the Supreme Court. My response is that uh, the ACLU took it too far and they said hands off of everyone. Well, you can't do that when a person is unable to take care of themselves. I say you took the pendulum all the way to the end. Now it's time to pull it back a little bit and let's say, yes, we can intervene. Many with mental illness are unable to seek help because they often don't realize their illness. Thielen hopes the increase to 72 hours will help self-awareness, but admits she hasn't consulted with a mental health professional. The mental hope health. is that after the 72-hour period of time, that the person is going to be able to interact with the caregivers and be able to make some decisions for herself or himself and say, yes, I would like to have some more help. I'd like to maybe stabilize a bit longer. As for the strain on already thin resources at Hawaii State Hospital and other mental health facilities across Hawaii. I know this puts more burden on the system, but it's a necessary burden. And then we need to, obviously, we need to expand the care facilities and the way that we're providing help to people. The bill will be heard here at the Capitol next Wednesday. For more information, including a link that you can give your testimony, you can swing by our website, KH12.com. Reporting from the Capitol, Sam Spangler, KH12 News, working for Hawaii.